Our story begins high on the top of Plinlimmon, the highest mountain in mid Wales, where Britain's longest river, the Severn, has its source. From water simply oozing out of the ground, it is soon a small stream tumbling down the steep slopes into the Hafland Forest, only one mile away. Visiting the forest for the first time, you could think that it has been here since time began, but you would be wrong. It was first planted in 1937 as a commercial forest for producing timber for pulp and into newsprint, chipboard pallets, fencing and the construction industry. Before this, the land was once where there were only sheep and a few deserted lead mine workings. Today the forest spans over 40 kilometres across one of the widest areas of Wales. Not simply a forest for producing timber, the Hafen Forest is an excellent habitat for flora and fauna, as well as a haven for birds. Buzzards can be seen overhead, whilst crossbills are feeding high up in the treetops from the seeds of the cones from the pine trees. The Forestry Commission have made the visit to the forest by visitors a relaxing enjoyment. Natural Resources Wales have added to this enjoyment by creating a number of different trails along the Severn amongst the towering pine trees. Be warned though, the water here looks crystal clear and inviting to drink. I did just that one very hot day and that night was violently ill. It would be silly not to visit the nearby Lake Redog whilst you are here. The primary purpose of this lake is to regulate the flow of water in the Severn, to mitigate flooding and to provide the abstraction of drinking water for the West Midlands. Quite simply, it regulates the flow of water into the Severn by releasing water from the lake during the summer months and by collecting and refilling the lake in winter months. To hold all this water back, the tallest concrete dam in Britain was built and in 1967 the 72 metre high dam was completed. Currently operated by Severn Trent Water, the operating plant runs on power generated from a 500 kilowatt hydroelectric turbine. This area is now a popular tourist destination with many scenic walks to explore. At the base of the dam are the ruins of the Brintail lead mine, well worth a visit. 